Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be going over how to transfer music from your Mac directly to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So once again, it doesn't matter which iDevice you guys have, it's exact same instructions for all of them. So on your Mac, since iTunes is no longer a thing, you're going to look for something named music. So to quickly look for that, go right into your spotlight search. On the top right hand corner of your screen, you're going to see this icon, just tap on it. And from there, just type in music, open that up. Once you open it up, you will see this. Of course, at this point, what you want to do is hook up your iPhone, iPad or touch to your Mac so with the cable that came with your device to charge it up. That's the same cable that you sync it up with your Mac. I would like to know that some of you might need an adapter for that. Just depends which cable you have. But anyways, once you open that up, so here's my music app. I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can actually see. On the left hand side, I will see devices. And there, I will finally see whichever device you guys have. So this is the name of my device. I can just click on it. Once I click there, I'm going to see all of this. And I can just go on and sync settings if that's what I want to do right now. However, I also want to show you how to put the music right here in the music app. So let's do that. I have a folder right here. And this folder contains music. So let's just open it up. By the way, I always suggest whichever music you have to please have it as MP3 because that will work. Others might not. So what you want to do in order to sync up your music is first of all, here is my folder that has music on it. So these are MP3s. Just make sure they're MP3s. We're going to drag them onto this section. So see here where it says library and recently added, which we're going to go there. Actually, let's just tap there. What I'm going to do from here is just select MP3s that I want from that folder, drag it on top of here. So right here, right on top of it. So this is where I did that. And then it should be added to my library right now. So here we go. So as you guys can see, just added my music there. So right now it is in iTunes. For example, if I want to delete anything, just select it, press delete on your keyboard, and you can go ahead and delete that music. I can move it to my trash or just keep the file. So I could just keep them in my media folder if I don't want to fully delete it, or I can just move it to my trash. In this case, I'm going to move it to my trash. You guys don't have to do that. And actually what I'm going to do is select all of these plus these down here. So I'm just pressing command on my keyboard and then selecting all of these guys from my music. Let me just zoom in a little bit and I'm going to press delete. Now I'm not actually pressing command delete, just delete. So here we go delete again your choice if you would like to keep the files or just move them to trash i'm going to go ahead and move them to my trash and that's how i make sure that only the songs i just added will be there now at this point i can go on into my devices and tap on sync settings once i tap on sync settings this will come up so this is actually my finder window and you will see that i have this check mark on sync only check songs and videos now you may not want that you may want to just sync everything. In my case, what I want to do is just what I select. Because if I take this off, I know it's going to take a little bit too much. So let's just put that in there. And there's several tabs up here. So you're going to see general music, movies. What we're talking about today is music. So let's just tap on music. And once again, what I want to do is just sync selected artists, albums, playlists. I actually don't want videos. So I'm going to take this check mark off. Again, that's what I'm choosing. You guys can go ahead to the entire library and you can even fill in automatically free space with songs. So you can put that check mark there too. In my case, that's not a good thing. What I have in my list right now is just because what I brought over, I'm going to put a check mark here, art list. Again, that's just the name of what I've got myself. So right now, right here, you're going to see artists, albums, or you can select this one or even playlists. For me, it's just albums. That just makes more sense. And I do want to take everything in. So I'm just going to select everything from here. So I do like to show you guys that you can select whatever you want and not sync your entire library because that might overdo it. All I have to do is at this point is click on apply and it's just going to sync it over. So right now it's transferring this music that I have on my music library into my iPhone. If this was an iPad, it would be exact same instructions and iPod touch. Same deal, exact same instructions. Actually, nothing changes. Now, if you get a message like so, it's exactly because of that. I don't have my music app installed on my device yet. I will later on, 
but I just want to use the music on other apps. And that's why I'm doing this. But you can go ahead and download the music app. Not everybody's going to see this. If you guys don't see this message, good. That means you already have it installed. Most likely you do. So I'm going to go on and tap on OK. And at this point, I do want to mention that the music app is actually called Apple Music. So if you look at it in the App Store, it's going to be called Apple Music. Just download it. And then later on, you're going to see the little icon. It's just going to say music on it. But as far as this video, we're all done. We just transferred everything that we wanted into our phone. I have my music right there. I'm actually even going to show you that right now. So here's my phone. I'm going to tap on my music app because I just installed it. And let me just close that up. And here's the music under albums. It's only the stuff that I just synced and you guys saw me do it from the computer. And there you go. That's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.